Hi guys, back again with another vegan vegetarian list for you so you don't have to look it up yourself. And in this video, I will be showing you places in Lisbon, Portugal. a cute breakfast, brunch, lunch spot, I suggest going to the Seagull Method. I am matching my food to my fit today, all green. Seagull Method Cafe was super good. There was no vegan options there. This next one is for all the big sweet tooths out there, aka for the ones who love ice cream like me. So this place has vegan ice cream and it's called Scoop and Duck. I got cookie dough and brownie on top <laughs> and black sesame on bottom. What did you get? I got strawberry raspberry cheesecake. Yeah, that sounds good. And then we're splitting a tiramisu donut. Next on this vegan list is this place called The Green Affair. <laughs> So there are mocktails and cocktails and a lot of drink options. Here's the main menu and then they have a separate pizza menu. Although we came for dinner, you could get this lunch deal here for only $10.95. So we're not remembering what we got, but it had matcha syrup and we both haven't had a matcha drink ever. Drink. Yeah, so this will be our first. Okay, cheers! Yeah, it's good. So we got bao. Don't remember what it is in it. We got spinach croquettes and barbecue cauliflower. Mm. Mm. The cauliflower is really good. The sauce is full of flavor. Mm. So we got the traditional Portuguese dish, which is called the lagareiro. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Definitely get the traditional Portuguese dish if you come here. If you're looking for a cute little brunch spot, I suggest going to break. Lots of vegetarian and vegan options. I got good old spinach eggs benedict and you got avocado toast. Mm. How's it taste? Good. So when in Portugal, Lisbon, Portugal, one must try the oldest coffee shop in the city and that is A Brasileira. We're both going to try the original espresso coffee. So we got seats outside, which is great, but if you can tell, there's a saxophone player that is extremely loud right now, and it's only almost 11 a.m. Thank you. Also, if you do want to check this place out and if you do want to sit outside, 
come early? It comes with a tiny little chuckle. Dessert list is a vegetarian place called Mantigaria. So, when in Portugal, you should definitely try the Portuguese custards. So, we bought a pack of like six tarts. Yum, they're so warm. And then the lady gave us a packet of white sugar, I think, and cinnamon to put on top of the custard. Here it goes. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. This is good. Granted, I don't know how it tastes without the sugar and the cinnamon, but it is great with it. And it's so perfectly flaky. Yeah, definitely a must try. Next on this list is this place called Plant Space. So the concept of the restaurant is that they have different vegan chefs from all over the city and it's basically just one umbrella house for vegan food. So we got two momos and cauliflower. I've actually never had a momos before. Have you had a momos? No. So we're gonna see what it tastes like. This is not a good dish enough for one. Yeah, that's just so good. So, the guy was like, oh, one dish will be enough. This is not, this is not enough for one person. <laughs> A vegan place added to this list is Botanical Den. So if you're walking past it, make sure to slow down because you just might miss it. Just a heads up, there's only one page for food and then the rest is literally drinks. So they have non-alcoholic and then they have frozen drinks which we plan on getting and then more drinks. We both got pina coladas and Al got a draft beer. <laughs> Cheers! Yeah, good. I got a vegan hot dog with crisps and Al got the Den burger with crisps. Messy but good. Messy but good. Another place to check out for vegetarian options or just sweets in general is a time out market.
we definitely have ice cream and so many sweets here. I got stuck here. What did you get? Coffee. Yum. So that is my little list of vegan vegetarian restaurants that I am suggesting. I hope this video helped on shortening your research and helped a lot on places that you can eat at. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And 